protest. 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 The latest protests are part of a protest tonight across Russia. This is what protests look like to the everyday person. Protests also exist in government contracting as a way to hold the government accountable for wrong decisions. Many small business contractors aren't sure if their situation is able to be protested. Many times, due to this lack of knowledge, they let the government get away with things that they clearly shouldn't have. So when should you, as a contractor, protest? What if the government awarded a small business contract to a contractor and you find out that the contractor is not a small business? Protest. If a government solicitation is set aside for small businesses only and a large business wins it, this is an issue. What if the government awarded the lowest price technically acceptable contract to a contractor and you find out that the contractor was, in fact, not the lowest? Protest. LPTA stands for lowest price technically acceptable. If the government is using this standard to evaluate proposals, it cannot change the evaluation method at the last minute. What if their statement of work is too specific and only opens the door to certain contractors? Protest. If the government is intentionally making its requirements too detailed as to exclude certain contractors, this is an issue that needs to be addressed. What if the government is requesting a brand name item and has no justification? Protest. Why? Brand name items limit competition. Unless the government can articulate why they opted for a brand name item, this is protestable. Is the government not giving enough time for contractors to submit their proposals? Protest. The government is given clear directions on how many days contractors should be given to submit a proposal. This information can be found in the Federal Acquisition Regulation. To protest or not to protest? What's our stance on lodging protests? Deliberate carefully before initiating a protest. Previously, certain companies would protest every lost contract, potentially fostering an antagonistic relationship that could impede success in current or future contracts. If you do opt to protest, it's imperative to have a valid reason rather than mere dissatisfaction and substantiating evidence for your claim. Should you decide to protest, seeking guidance beforehand is advisable. Consulting your local PTAC or Procurement Technical Assistance Center to begin the process or engaging legal advice is recommended. Protesting to a government agency may be intimidating at first, but remember, the procurement process must remain fair and transparent. If an agency cannot solve your issue, you have the right to escalate it. Many times, the public perception is that big bad government is taking advantage of the little guy, and agencies have to fight an uphill battle when creating their case. Remember, remain honest, but call out nonsense whenever you suspect the government is overstepping its boundaries.